Today on the 13th of November, last night was minus 24 degrees Celsius. The water is still running as it always does. There's two openings. The balls are not spinning as they're not needed. My koi have gone down to the bottom of the pond, which is only three feet deep. They've been out there in this pond for 24 years. This will actually probably be the 25th winter, considering I started them in 1991. The orange and the white one are my two oldest and have been there for as long as I've had this pond. The water is ice cold, and if you look good, you can see steam is rising. It's kind of hard to tell. But what happens um, when you heat the pond with the heater, and the pond is, the water temperature is barely above freezing, and the air temperature is much colder. So what happens? is it's like a pot of boiling water on the stove and evaporation can happen at a more accelerated rate. Look at the hornwort, minus 24 degrees Celsius and it still looks good. That stuff is hardy and the fish like to eat it. The aquatic mint is quite hardy too, but it's frozen right now. And as soon as the ice is melted, it comes back very quickly. Uh, down to the bottom pond, or this is sorry, the middle pond. The fish here all winter under the massive yellow flag. So they're at that end of the pond. And when it warms up, they'll come out again. I use the one 1500 watt heater right now and it's very cheap to buy at PV Mart roughly $25 although 1500 watts can cost a lot for some people to run so I don't keep the pond plugged in the heater anyways I keep the pond running all winter but the heater I've unplugged it for the day because there really isn't that much ice so I'm not concerned. And then I run the hose. Okay, I gotta take you down. Halloween's over. From the window in the bathroom. And I'm topping up the pond today, the bottom pond. The bottom pond keeps all the top ponds pumped to a maximum. But because it's the bottom pond, and when the ice happens, water is displaced in the upper ponds. And then the water can also drop in the bottom pond because of a higher accelerated rate of evaporation due to the pond heater. So I'm topping up the middle pond, which will top up the bottom. I think I can see some reflection of the goldfish most of them will be down on this side of the pond where it's all iced off that's usually where they all go so this is today the only fish that i can really get a good picture of is the koi in the top pond because the pond is still mostly open up there so by having three ponds and keeping the pond running put the best fish in the upper pond because the water will be the cleanest and the clearest and it will have the least amount of built up gases because running water gets rid of built up gases better than any other way that I know of and it's more natural Yes, and I feed my koi dog food in the summer. They don't seem to have suffered at all, and they seem fine.
And that is today on the 13th of November. And if you have any questions on how I work my pond, feel free to ask me. I should point out that all my filters and pumps are below the water. They're actually in the middle in the bottom pond. That way, if they're below the ice, they won't freeze. And the hose here, you won't really have to worry about freezing as long as it's flowing at a fast enough rate, even if it is minus 40, it won't stop. There's another one, because it's continually flowing. Now, if you're afraid that the, you can see that hose is larger, if the flow is too slow for your liking, you can switch the hose to a smaller size hose and then the pump will force the water out of the hose faster so there'll be least chance of freezing although in all the 24 years I've only had one hose ever freeze and that was many years ago and I used to have a very very small bottom pond um, it was more like a um, marsh and I only had like a 300 gallon per hour um, pump and it got clogged and it slowed down too much on the flow and that was the only time that one froze but it was the bog pond and there really wasn't any fish in there just some little ones and they were fine I got the hose going again I had to drag it in the house and de-ice it some leaves are down there I'm gonna have to scoop them out and another benefit to running the pond all year round is your water quality will be amazing especially if you have lots of hornwort and large sedges they really help as well so even though this pond is only three feet deep and only looks so big it's actually part of three ponds and the fish are all alive and very well after 24 years and that's today in Canada at minus 24 degrees Celsius.